peculiar and eerie abandoned house. Later, a woman comes out of the room, it seems as if she is mentally unfit. She was holding a horrible toy in her hand and was finding her way with its help. She was blowing the way where the toy rang. Later, the toy begins to ring near a door that door was attached to the basement. Later, the toy begins to ring near a cardboard wall. Later, the woman begins to peep into the wall after making a hole in it. We couldn't see what happened next. Later, we see Isaac who had an accident, one year ago in which lost his memory. Later, Isaac's friend asks her to take care of a girl in a house. So, his financial scarcity might be over, and she could earn well. Later, her friend, Barrett tells him, before some time, my brother took his life. And since then his wife is also missed. Their only daughter, my niece is left alone whom you've to look after, and I'll pay you a large sum of money for this task. Isaac begins to think that looking after is an ordinary job, why is he paying me a lot of money? Later, he agrees to do this job because he is in need of money. The next day, they reach the house but it was situated in a deserted area. On an island in the middle of a stream. After watching this, Isaac becomes shocked and asks his friend, why didn't you tell me prior that your brother's house is situated in the middle of the stream? I don't know how to swim, later, Barrett convinces him. Actually, this was the same house, where we saw that strange woman who was finding her way from a toy. This house was still deserted, nobody was visible there. Barrett later gives him a jacket that has a long chain attached to it. Later, he informs Isaac, you must not go into my niece's room, named Olga, because her mental condition is unstable like her mom. It means that woman was Olga's mom. He tells him that Olga is quite strange and becomes confused if someone approaches her. In order to avoid this, she always sits in a corner of her room by closing her eyes. For preventing him to go to Olga's room, he makes him wear this jacket. Because the attack chain with the jacket can't reach her room. This jacket was not less than a silver suit. First, it has a lengthy chain, and second, it has several locks, and Isaac doesn't want to wear it. Since this all wasn't normal, there was definitely a problem, but due to the need for money, he is forced to do it. He felt nothing normal while checking the entire house. He felt everything strange. And a dog was also chained outdoors, and after feeding the dog, he sits there. Meanwhile, some strange sounds begin to hear from the room. Isaac thinks she may be Olga, so he begins to approach her room. But he couldn't go because of that attack chain. When he enters the room at night, a picture suddenly tumbles from the wall. The image fell upside down but instantly straightened itself. The girl's eyes in the picture start to open, that was once normal. As a result, she becomes quite weird. Upon witnessing this, Isaac becomes quite frightened. To check what is strange in this house, he begins to search the whole house. Meanwhile, Olga arrives with a crossbow in her hand. It is a kind of weapon that has arrows. She tells him that my mother was insane, she used to imprison my dad after making him wear this jacket. She also used to carry the jacket's key around her neck. One day my mom mysteriously disappeared. My father believed that she may have been in the basement. Meanwhile, the door inside the basement automatically was locked. My father had panic attacks, and while frightening, he died in the basement. After informing him about this, Olga goes from there. Isaac begins to figure this out and sits at a place later. An awful toy now starts to ring, which had been ringing toward the basement. Isaac believes that this toy may be able to detect the presence of a spirit. So, he goes into the basement after taking the toy. He notices the cardboard wall hole that we first noticed at the beginning. That was created by Olga's mom. He begins to peep through that hole. He sees Olga's mom's corpse in a quite strange way. He becomes quite afraid to see this. He suspects Olga of killing her mom. Because her body has the same crossbow marks that Olga has in her hand. After seeing this, he calls Barrett, and informs him, he tells that Olga has killed her mom, and I've found her body. For this reason, call the police soon. For this reason, he locks Olga in a room and after going into the basement, and he begins to unlock his chain. He hears a sound coming from Olga's room who informs him, I didn't kill my mom. Rather my uncle Barrett, and my dad had killed my mom together. Because you told Barrett about this. Barrett will not forgive you, he will murder you. After hearing this, he opens Olga's room, and she tells him another terrible news. She says, one year ago, you came here and imprisoned my father in the basement. You've done this all on the instructions of my uncle, Barrett. Isaac has no memory of the past, so he couldn't think about anything. He tells her, Barrett has informed me that you are mentally unfit. 
For this reason, you're talking in this manner, because I've not come here ever before, and he again calls Barrett. He informs him that Olga is talking weirdly. On the call, he tells Olga, upon hearing this, he becomes quite shocked. And tells Olga that I've not done anything, nor I've killed your parents. You may contact the police if you continue to believe that I am responsible. But she doesn't do this, later Isaac goes into the basement, he could therefore unlock the locks on her jacket, but he is unable to. Later, he tries to steal the key from Olga's rom from a hole. But Olga notices him, and she breaks his finger in anger. For this reason, Isaac feels terrible pain. He was sitting in his room, after being fed up with the circumstances. Meanwhile, he reads the news of Olga's mom's disappearance in the newspaper. He notices that Olga's mother wore a key around her neck as Olga told him. He goes to the basement directly and tries to take the key from Olga's mom's neck. After taking the key from her body, he unlocks the jacket lock. As he put off the jacket, the electricity of the whole house turns off. Later, he goes to Olga's room and takes her crossbow. He forcefully makes Olga wear this jacket. Isaac sees his old jacket and becomes shocked to see it. He begins to think, what is my jacket doing here? He starts to recall a past memory in the meantime. He thinks that a year ago, Barrett gave him the task of killing Olga's father. While he was thinking about the past, Olga comes there. She takes the crossbow from her and attacks her. Isaac goes into a room to escape from her, meanwhile, she comes after him and makes him injured with an arrow. Later, Isaac quickly recalls the past and recalls the day he came to murder Olga's father. He wrote for Olga's dad on the piece of paper, Barrett wants to kill you, in reality, Isaac wants to save and help him rather than murdering him. When he moved toward it, the basement door was already locked by someone. He still managed to enter after opening the door. He sees Olga's dad in a terrible state. He was in quite a terrible state, Isaac becomes shocked and ran from there. Barrett comes and asks Isaac, have you finished your task? He says I went to kill Olga's father but the door was locked from the inside. Later, Barrett finds the paper that Isaac wrote for Olga's father, Barrett wants to kill you. Since no one else is home, he learns that Isaac has committed this act. He becomes quite ragged on Isaac, but he doesn't let him feel that he is aware of this. Now, he suspects that he might inform the police about it. For this reason, after making an excuse he goes out. In reality, he didn't go anywhere rather he was sitting there secretly. At night, when Isaac was on the roof, Barrett comes and pushes him down from the roof. Actually, this incident caused Isaac to lose his memory. After recalling this all in the present, he restores his memory. For this reason, he begins to flee. On the way, he sees the spirit of Olga's mom who tries to scare him. As a result, he begins to shout and comes into the room where the corpse of Olga's mom was. Now, Isaac begins to cut the cardboard wall but the corpse was placed near to him. He feels scared to see it. Because her eyes were opened and she was smiling weirdly. For this reason, he covers her face with his cap, but the cap gets a hole, and the corpse was still staring at Isaac, and he becomes afraid to see this. Meanwhile, Olga comes and removes the crossbow arrow from her body. In a while, Barrett arrives and asks her, where is Isaac? Actually, Isaac was hiding on the other side of the wall. Olga tells him that I've kept him locked in my room. During this moment, Barrett learns that Isaac is hidden on the other side of the wall. Behind the cardboard wall, so he begins to break it. So, he can bring Isaac out. But Olga attacks him with her crossbow, and the arrow hit his back. Later, she goes from there after locking the basement where Isaac and Barrett were. Barrett was injured because of an arrow but he still tries to trap Isaac. He tells him to come out and after coming out, we'll go from here. Actually, he doesn't want to bring Isaac out rather he wants to kill him. So, he holds a wooden piece in his hand, so he'll kill him when he comes out. Meanwhile, he hears Isaac's sound saying, I've already come out then whom you're calling out. After hearing this Barrett becomes quite upset and confused. He doesn't understand what is happening with him. If Isaac is not behind the wall, then who is there? Meanwhile, the spirit of Olga's mom emerges from the wall. After seeing her, Barrett becomes quite shocked. She attacks Barrett in a while. Later, we can only hear him screaming which means Olga's mom has killed him. Isaac goes from there after freeing that dog. Olga also comes out and was seeing Isaac carefully. But she doesn't plan to kill him. Now I'll narrate what the actual story is. Actually, Barrett and Olga's father used to do illegal business. Olga's mom was unaware of this business. As she suspected him, she became very angry at him. She used to keep him locked, so Olga's dad can't do any illegal business. But Olga's dad has to continue this business at any cost. 
He didn't like to be restricted by his wife. So, Olga's dad and Barrett together took her life. They hid her corpse in the basement forever, and spread the news everywhere that Olga's mom has disappeared. In order to take revenge, her spirit began to tease him, and he used to become crazy with this. For this reason, he took his life after locking him in the basement. As I told you that the basement door was locked from the inside when Isaac checked it. Along with this, Barrett has chosen Isaac to get rid of Olga's dad. But Isaac has pity on Olga's dad. For this reason, he tried to inform him after writing a paper. When Barrett has seen that paper, he learns that Isaac has become aware of my truth. For this reason, he pushed Isaac down from the roof, but he didn't die rather he lost his memory. He wants to kill Isaac, so he brought him to this deserted house. Because he thought that Olga would kill Isaac because of her unstable condition. But she didn't do this, if we talk about that toy, Olga's mom's spirit wants to talk to others with its help. So, she could tell that my corpse is in the basement, for this reason, she always pointed out toward the basement. So, they could bury her corpse, and her spirit could get eternal peace. As Barrett and her husband were responsible for this all. That's why she killed her husband first after making him mad. Later, she killed Barrett, and she took her revenge on both of them. Now, her spirit will get peace, and the movie ends with this.